you about this film, Ancient Game, because your character is one of those that, you know, he starts as an interrogator, then he turns into like a mediator, and then he ends up kicking ass. Yeah, but in between there, I think even uh, without saying too much, he finds himself in a few sticky situations, then kicks some ass. Yes, right. I didn't want to say that part, but you did it for me. <laughs> yeah, no, he gets in it and then gets out of it and then, uh, yeah, gets in it again. Um, but if by all that you mean that Harris's storyline is woven in with a bunch of other really exciting um, uh, characters and uh, narrative and plot twists and action moments, then you're talking about Agent Game. So is that the reason why you decided to sign on? Can you share a little more? For sure, but I've always been attracted to this type of movie and frankly probably haven't done enough of them. Um, and uh, the experience I had doing Agent Game with a great cast I'm sure we'll touch on, but um, and uh, production crew, director Grant S. Johnson. Uh, it was a great choice because we had a great time and we made a really tight, really action-packed um, action thriller. So um, not that often that I get to play in movies like this. So great fun for me. It's also one of those uh, characters that you're playing where you can't, you're playing a role that can't say too much, right? Can't disclose much. Yeah. So how yeah. is that challenging as an actor? Well, in this case, uh, they're wonderful actors and characters to play off of. Other times in the past, I've played the guy so kind of behind the computer, the headquarters guy. And then you're just interacting a lot of the times with uh, moving dots on a screen or something or a green screen. So this was really like hands on uh, handmade movie so that the characters uh, motivations aren't always clear. But you know how uh, there's just a couple of terrific scenes around those interrogations. Um, where it's almost like two old friends are just hanging out when really they're violently interrogating a, a prisoner that's being held without charges by their own government. So um, it, it's a mashup of that and causes some of the suspense and friction in the movie. Um, it also gets Harris in reaction to some of those events, it gets Harris uh, in, in uh, deep trouble. So I'm one of the many people in uh, characters in this story that has to um, fight their way out. That is correct. Now, yes, let's go talk about all these other personalities in this film. Now, you got to work quite closely with Jason Isaac, who is a marvelous actor. What was the experience? I, I, I sense you had some fun with him, too. We did. We had a great time on the things, uh, you know, just sh shooting and in between and even um, hung out some um, off the filming location. Um, so sometimes you just get a great connection with a person. It happened in this case for sure. We remain friends. And um, so as I was saying, I think it added an additional or heightened the element in the storyline of uh, two veteran spies who've uh, worked together a long time so that they have that connection, maybe even kind of overlapping they're talking finishing each other's sentences to a certain extent now these scenes are around this interrogation of a uh, barkad abdi an amazing somali actor um so he had the hardest job in these scenes i assure you um and um really barkad's place in the story is one i care about the most because he's the one that uh, calls us on the crime that we're committing against him and his uh, and his um, people and uh, his culture. So there are some real truths in this movie as well. They're pretty well hidden behind the action and the firepower and the who done it of it all. Um, so Agent Game has um, all of those qualities, and uh, right now I think is playing real real high on demand at home. Uh, you can find it right there on the front deck of most of your home streamers. Um, uh, and I uh, hope you enjoy it for sure. And we also have Mel Gibson. Did you get to uh, meet him at all? No, I've met Mel on many occasions over the years. Unfortunately, my schedule didn't permit, and you'll see we're not standing next to each other in the scenes and without giving too much away. He's the big boss, so it's what the, one of the questions is whether he's on my side anymore uh, or whether he's uh, just disposing of some of his middlemen in the process of, of his achieving his goals here. But what we get to see is Mel Gibson is some of his like 90s action role quippiest 
best in some of his scenes, but he's the guy that's putting together the crew that's going to go clean up partially what I was involved in. Um, but you also get to see him running and gunning on the street and trying to um, trying to chase down certain bad guys. Um, so we, you get the full you get the full uh, sense of those movies where he was at uh, at his best, and he brought some of that here to Asian Game for sure. And he had an interesting character because, as the director said, he built him to be kind of like a chameleon, right? To kind of yeah. pull strings with everybody. And the way the story unfolds, uh, you don't really know who he is until later as well. So there's so many um, smart cinematic moves built into Age in the Game that you'll you'll see it makes it fun to watch because it's not um, it's it's intended to be. Uh, you know, murky, that you're not quite sure who's doing what. And it's really satisfying, climactic, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, come to meeting at the end uh, uh, a conflict. So, yeah. What about the action scenes? Can you, were there, how fun were they? Well, action scenes, the bigger they are, the usually the less I have to do, right? They either doubling uh, the actor for safety and let the, the experts do that as the stunt crew did so expertly here. Um, I don't know that I was doubled too much. A couple of fist fights, some gun wielding, and um, our super contained, almost claustrophobic feeling final confrontation uh, had lots of um, pyrotechnics and firepower. So tons of action, beautifully choreographed, and uh, they made the most with not the most resources on this film. But all I'll tell you this, all the helicopter footage and that... Uh, that private jet that plays so um, handsomely in the middle part of our movie. That's uh, all real footage. There's a great shot of our drone taking off with uh, the plane they used. So uh, in all modesty, it's not the biggest budget action, action picture, but it sure feels like it. Well, I, what I like about these films is a lot of times it's better about the content and the story versus yeah. the, the big explosions, right? Yes, absolutely. And those are, there's some real sticky threads in this storyline. Um, and uh, really, there's a, so many things going on at once. There's a great crew. This is the sort of no goods that uh, Gibson's character goes to seek to put together this crew, or played by Katie Cassidy, Aiden Canto, and Reese Cuaro, um, to great effect. And um, their hostage is a key part of the storyline yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't care about spoilers you know yeah <laughs> i'm not doing it i'm not saying i won't tell you all of that but it's one of those one one of many uh plot twists in this movie involves who they actually have um who who they've they've taken as their prisoner and to start wrapping up uh you're keeping busy you have a, quite a few projects uh coming out including section eight which i'm excited about because it has Dolph Lundgren i'm a real yeah. big fan of i am so, too I can't Dolph wait. Lundgren leads another a great cast there too with Ryan Quanton and uh, another great sort of action cast that's also plays, I think, in the spy world and backstabbing uh, no gooders. So that's a good one. Right now, also on demand, I think they released it two or three weeks ago, is Amma. Amma's a horror film that Sandra Oh has the starring role in, also stars Fievel Stewart. And I have a nice supporting role in there. Um, so that's a really enjoyable uh, weekend, late night, uh, scary movie for you that's out there right now, too. Great, thank you. And just last question. If you could relive one of the films that you, you filmed, you worked on, which one would it be? Could I, I relive it? You mean actually be in it or, in it again, or do it again? Do it, do, have the experience again? Gosh, that's a good question, Nancy. I, I think of Young Guns right away, of course, because I'm a Western uh, movie lover and it was such a, uh, yeah, so I'll stick with that answer, but I wouldn't give away a minute that I've had on any of these sets with the incredible, talented people, uh, film crews, and uh, cast of actors every stop of the way for me. So no regrets, and um, and I'd do it all over again twice if I could. And we will continue watching them all, all over again. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you so much, Nancy.